UFC trilogies. It does not get better than this. A fight in the UFC as a matchup is only seen once. I mean, think about it. Two guys fighting each other is probably a once in a lifetime occurrence. You never see them fight each other again. Rematches are rare and trilogies are just once in a while at best. This Saturday, we get an amazing trilogy. On top of the fact that you have what many people consider to be the greatest heavyweight of all time, Stipe Miocic is going up against Daniel Cormier. This is a fight for the ages, guys. What makes this so much fun also is that we're getting the retirement before the fight. Cormier has already announced that he's retiring. This will be the last time we ever see him in the octagon. So this has to be a nice draw, right? We know we're seeing the guy fight for the final time. And if you're a fan like me, man, the jitters are real. Daniel Cormier is no joke and considered by many a very well-rounded heavyweight. We've seen what he can do in the stand-up and his wrestling. Given that this is rare, are we seeing a repeat of some kind? Is there a trend? I understand that Frankie Edgar and Gray Maynard's trilogy did not have the similar implications historically that this one does. But let's look at some funny coincidences here. Both champions have lost to the guy that they are about to go for the third time with. Both guys are great boxers who can utilize wrestling at any given moment. Look at how incredibly easy Daniel Cormier slams his opponents. That's a mixture of his brute strength and of course his amazing and incredible and well-known wrestling game. And make no mistake, Frankie has the same exact thing. In his prime, Frankie, even when he was rocked early on in fights, was able to come back and get amazing wrestling slams that to this day you just go, where did he get these from? Same with Cormier. And I'm seeing a pattern here. Both guys are trying to get that third fight to solidify themselves as the better fighter, as the champion. None of them got to keep the belt after that. Cormier will never fight again. But let's look at what makes this interesting. Will we see the more well-rounded fighter win the best of three? Check this out. In the third fight of the installment, Frankie Edgar versus Gray Maynard, we see this incredible use of mixed martial arts, and it's what intrigues us a lot. If you're an MMA fan, not only do you like to see who's good at what discipline, but who can fusion them together, right? After all, it is mixed martial arts. It's how you mix this that makes it very interesting. You like boxing and you like wrestling. Okay, well, how about we incorporate a system of fighting where they chamber into each other? Take a look at Frankie Edgar as he is separating from the clinch and he starts to land this beautiful hook here. The fight's pretty much over. He used the stand-up clinch right here as he disengages to set up a beautiful strike that ultimately ends the fight and declares him champion. Does that sound familiar? How about this one? Cormier in the first fight, same exact thing. He is able to use the clinch in such a way that distracts the other fighter. Stipe Miocic did not even see it coming, and neither did Gray Maynard. Think about this. This is pretty cool stuff here, given what we've seen. Do you think this guy has what it takes? After all, DC is not just a legend in MMA. He's a legend, period, an icon. I mean, think about it. Joe Rogan and Cormier commentating on the same fight night? You know it was going to be good. No questions about it. And although, yes, Cormier does have some questionable moments in MMA, can't blame him for that, right? He was concussed here. Nah, I'm not going to rank on. I'm not going to do DC like that. But after all, that was a very iconic moment, and he was memed, and he was also in danger of becoming the next Michael Jordan meme. I'm so glad he didn't. You can see how Cormier is going to go out as a legend, especially with a W. Let me know if you think DC has what it takes to beat Stipe for a second and final time. And although, yes, this video is primarily about Daniel Cormier, I do not mean to leave Stipe in the dark. The man is what many would argue to be the best heavyweight of all time. He has three title defenses in the UFC, which is the record. The heavyweight division is the wild, wild west. So that being said, how do you see this fight going down? Let me know in the comments below. Hey, before you go, I just wanted to say thank you for watching this video and hit the subscribe button if you like this kind of material. We have a vodcast up already on this, which is an amazing card. We have the final three fights broken down, predictions, and we look to bring you many videos like this one. For sure going to be a little longer, but again, that's just a little taste of what I look to bring you guys. So join me. My name is Danny Miami. 
And it's a pleasure to meet you guys. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if Danny Miami got this one wrong. But I do think we are in for a historical event on Saturday. And I cannot wait to post our vodcast on Sunday with our thoughts and reactions. Stay tuned, guys. Thank you so much.